Django Reinhardt note. Today we are going to talk about picks. Dunlop primetone picks. These are really, really cool picks. These large triangles. They are very, very interesting picks that I found out about a couple of years ago. And gotta be frank, initially I couldn't stand them. <laughs> And the reason why I couldn't stand them is because I was coming from the world of tiny, tiny picks. I used to just use Jazz 2s. Let me see if I have one here. I think I do. Yeah, here's a match, uh, Max Grip Jazz 2. Okay, it's a very small pick. Not big at all. So my wife actually got some of these for me as a birthday gift. And I had trouble getting along with them just because they're so much bigger than what I used at that time and uh, pretty much all I used at that time. So these picks are certainly something different. They're uh, a lot bigger, but I find that they last a long time. Now this particular pick I've actually had since then. So we're talking 2019 and now it's 2022. And yes, some of the writing is worn off, but the edge is still extremely smooth all the way around. And part of that's because the pick is made from Altex, which is a hard-wearing plastic. Now, from what I understand, these picks were somewhat inspired by blue chip picks, which are very expensive. We're talking like $35 American plus picks. They just came out with a new range of blue chips, which I believe cost upwards of $100 per pick. So. They're very expensive, and I personally am not willing to fork out that much money on a guitar pick. But I really, really love these things, and I find that for playing that kind of gypsy jazz style stuff, where you have to dig into your guitar and play really quickly, you know? You know, they're great for that, because you can really play around with how much of the pick you have out of your hand or in your hand. Uh, when I'm playing chordal stuff like that, I don't mind having a fair bit of the pick out of my hand, but when I go to play single notes, I'll just grip it a bit tighter in and I'll play my single note stuff. With just pretty much as much pick sticking out of my hand as I would with a small tiny pick. And I I do tend to favor small picks, usually, because I like the control I can get with them. Um, but I do like these for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons is this. Check it out. I can play normal pick style, or even fingers and pick. But whenever I want to, I can palm the pick and have some access with my index finger to the G string and I can play finger style. Back to the pick. Back to finger style. That 
that's very, very cool. And I have trouble doing that with other picks. Maybe it's because I have large hands and long fingers. But personally, I find that the only pick I can do that with are these large triangles. So I am really enjoying that um, now. It took me a while to, to warm up to these picks, but let me tell you guys, there's something special going on here. The current cost is, uh, well, if you buy them in a 12 pack, it comes out to about $3 per pick in Canada, maybe a little bit less. So not crazy money, especially if you don't lose your picks, but you know, not, um, not cheap either. So it's up to you to, to, to answer the question as to whether that's worth it for you, right? I mean, I started to find that slightly more expensive picks like this were more worth it for me because they don't wear down nearly as fast. I can keep a pick like this for a couple of years and I'm good. So I don't find I'm going through picks as quickly as I did when I used to use those nylon jazz twos. They just wear like nobody's business, right? Um, but these picks and then the Ibanez PJTC1 picks, which I did a video on about a year ago, I'm still using those all the time. And uh, I like these also because they have a beveled edge. It's really interesting. The angle where you come down on the string, if you hold your pick correctly on a, on a slight angle, there's a bevel right down here. And for the upstrokes, there's a bevel right up here. So you get a really nice pick for, you know, any kind of tremolo picking. And you can grip it loosely or tightly to vary your technique. Okay, and you can change the angle of the pick as well. I especially like them on acoustic guitar. So I'm going to show you that as well. I'm going to pick up my uh, Eastman E6OM, which is a great, great guitar. Mahogany back and sides. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I really, really, really dig these picks on this guitar. I, I suppose like a bluegrass player would probably like a pick like this because you can really dig into the guitar hard. And it will just give back. So. In fact, I actually used this pick for the first year or so I own this guitar, it's been over a year now, um, to open it up and to really get it to, to blossom. And I think it really worked, you know. So if you, you know, play really hard and play, you know, some kind of country style stuff. <laughs> strummy stuff. say the last point I'll make about these picks that I really dig is that they are brighter sounding than most picks. The Altex material has a slightly brighter tone. Now it's still warm, it's still nice, but if I if I pick up uh, just a typical, I think this one's celluloid, you'll see the guitar sounds darker. <laughs> to the altar. 
Altex, the Dunlop Prime Tone pick. <laughs> like I'm adding about two weeks of life into these strings which are kind of going dead. That's again the nylon and then back to the uh, Altex to the prime tone. Pretty cool right? I like the crispness that you can get and if it saves you from changing your strings for a little bit the time then yeah it's pretty cool right <laughs> so again they're not for everything but they certainly are great for certain applications i always keep one in my pocket along with the other picks that i always keep on me so check them out dunlop prime tone altex picks these are the large t uh, triangles in i believe two mil thick uh the, these are the thickest ones that they make, I believe. So there's a little bit of give, but not too, too much. So I really like them for flat picking, and I really like them for that gypsy jazz style stuff as well. So as per, as per usual, please do go down there. Let us know what you think of these picks in the comments section below. Don't be afraid to give them a try. And we will see everybody again next Tuesday. See ya. Bye-bye.